Do you put off doing things until the last minute? Then this video is for you. You might be onto something. When I was in high school, I was notorious for being a procrastinator. Deadlines never seemed to motivate me, and I always found myself leaving things to the last minute. So when our teacher assigned a month-long essay, I didn't feel any urgency to start working on it right away. Instead, I spent my time with friends having fun, convinced that I had plenty of time to write the essay. As the days passed and the deadline loomed closer, I realized that I had made a mistake. The essay was still unwritten, and I had just two days to finish it. I went into panic mode, knowing that I might not be able to complete it in time. I was determined to finish the essay and turn it in on time, so I put all my focus into writing it. I didn't think about anything else. Netflix, friends, and other distractions became unimportant. All that mattered was finishing the essay. It was a grueling two days, but in the end, I managed to finish the paper and turn it in on time. To my surprise, I even received a decent grade on the essay. It was a lesson I wouldn't forget. I had always thought that having more time would lead to better results. However, I realized that when given too much time, most of it was wasted on procrastination, and only a small portion of it was spent on the task at hand. This phenomenon is called Parkinson's Law, and it states that work expands to fill the time available. Uh, essentially, the more time you have to complete something, the longer it will take you to finish it. For example, if someone gives you you a week to finish a task, it will take you a whole week to do it. If they give you one month, it will take you one month. And if they give you one year, it will take you one whole year. The problem is that we often make the mistake of thinking that the more time we give ourselves to complete a task, the better the result will be. There are two problems with this. One, we end up procrastinating and only a small portion of the time is spent on the task at hand. And two, we might overthink the task and perform worse. In my case, I wasted most of the month with distractions and only a small portion of the time was spent writing the essay. If I had been given a week to write the paper, I would have finished it in a week. Deadlines are like fires. When a deadline is far away, the fire is small, and it does not threaten your life yet, so you focus on other things like video games or other distractions. However, as the deadline gets closer and closer, that fire gets bigger and bigger. Eventually, that small fire has grown so big that your whole house might burn down. At this point, you don't have a choice but to put out the fire as fast as possible. Extinguishing the fire becomes your number one priority, making you laser focused. In other words, because your deadline is so close, or because the fire is so big, you prioritize your tasks much better. You can't afford to procrastinate or get lost in unimportant details. Instead, you're fully focused on putting out the fire. Parkinson's law is important to keep in mind when it comes to time management. If you know something can be completed in a day, do not give yourself two days to finish it. Giving yourself extra time will only lead to procrastination and wasted time. The result of a shorter deadline is often better than one with a longer deadline, simply because you are more focused and efficient with your time. Of course, this does not mean that you should always be rushing to complete tasks. Giving yourself unrealistic deadlines can be just as detrimental as giving yourself too much time. It's important to find a balance and set deadlines that are both challenging and achievable. One way to apply Parkinson's law to your own life is to use the Pomodoro technique. This technique involves breaking your work into focused 25 minute intervals followed by five minute breaks. By setting a timer for each interval, you're forced to focus on the task at hand and eliminate distractions. This short break allows you to recharge and avoid burnout. In conclusion, Parkinson's law is a useful concept to keep in mind when managing your time. It reminds us that the amount of time we have to complete a task is often not as important as the quality of time we spend on it. By setting realistic deadlines and breaking our work into focused intervals, we can increase our productivity and achieve better results. That's it for this video. Go ahead and follow the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And you will get more content like this to help you grow as a person. See you in the next one.